Thanks for joining me. This is Simeon from praisetracks.com. And what you're listening to is the brand new library from uh, Fracture Sounds, Glacier Keys. And Glacier Keys is just another one of those really um, beautiful character type of pianos from Fracture Sounds. And what this does, it is a piano, it's a Steinway that they took into a concert hall, a big, big hall, and they did, um, they sampled it using harmonics. So they muted the string, and like they put their hand on the string and then, then, you know, just played the key and it generates all of these really interesting overtones. And so let's see if we can just take a look real quick at um, what it says about it. And uh, we'll dive in and just start playing. Um, it's like, I just wanted to get on here and share this library as soon as it was released because it's really, interesting and you can see it's on uh, intro price for 69 and if you have any of the other fracture sounds uh, libraries you can get an additional discount so um, it's sampled from just harmonics and they added these really cool layers the glisten and um, frost and thaw which are just some processed layers and uh, it comes uh, you know in the free contact player version and, and it's uh, in the full version of Contact as well. So um, let's just get into this. And this is just like the default uh, when you first load it up in the uh, Contact. Uh, in the Contact. And you hear all those noises and things going on. So I'm going to turn off the layers. And so we can just take a listen to the raw um, the raw samples, uh, the raw piano uh, samples here. And we're going to turn the releases down a little bit and the noise. They also did some really cool things with the sympathetic resonance um, to give it um, just a more realistic. Now this is just the, um, just that raw piano sound without any layers, just a slight reverb. Let's turn the reverb off so we can get a feel for what the room sounds like. And you hear that, you hear those resonances ringing. So they, when they, when the, when you hear a resonance, the, the partial frequency, the fundamental, it, it, uh, the harmonic is a little different than the fundamental frequency when they, when you're doing the harmonic like that. And so what they did, they tuned it so it can, you know, so the harmonic would match the key that's being played. And you hear that, that room. And you have the uh, perspective, and I like having that um, really simple uh, perspective slider where we can go close or far away. So I'm just gonna play around with this some, um, and uh, thanks everybody for joining me, and sorry that we started a little late, but uh, you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play around with just the raw sound, and we're gonna layer the um, we got the mic mixer, so we've got close, mid, and far mic. So that mid mic is uh, being favored here. And um, so when you have the, the layer mode uh, turned on, that close perspective, and then you have the mic mixer, and then you can kind of adjust. Okay, yeah, so you can see how those, those mics are blending together. Okay, so let's just kind of leave it in the, uh, in the middle, and let's uh, just play around with this some. harmonic sound and then you get the attack of the hammers hitting the strings and generating all that. Very crisp. 
to spend. Listen. Listen to all that stuff going on. They just really, really did a great job. Oh, you hear it? Listen, listen to that. You hear so many things going on uh, underneath. Okay, now I'm going to um, I'm going to turn on these layers, and we're going to listen to them. Let's listen to them by themselves, and um, and then we can kind of blend them together. So this is Glisten, and it's some synth pad uh, granular effects. You can hear it going through all different types of things. Just like a little, those little glistening things. Now let's uh, turn on the frost, frost layer. Now I think frost, um, is something to do with some guitar, guitar uh, samples, and again, processed really heavily, granular processing. You can hear all kinds of movement. Now let's go to the thaw. We've had a little thawing out uh, here. Uh, we've had some sun. <laughs> it's in the 40s instead of the teens. Yeah, that's nice. But the real magic happens when we combine them with the, uh, the piano samples. Frost and reverb. And again, you might not want, want the effect too strong, just to kind of just give it enough spice. Now let's mix it with a little bit of the glisten. see what we've got going on here. So you've got uh, the velocity, 
response, which I've not, I've just kind of left it. And then you've got that sample offset. Um, so if you, if you have it all the way over to the, um, the left, it's gonna, it's gonna have that little pre-attack portion. Say a little prayer for you. <laughs> That's like. <laughs> you never know what's going to come out. have a little bit of credits. Uh, Will Bedford is the um, is just amazing the producer behind these Fracture Sounds libraries and um, one of the things that I really appreciate about um, about Fracture Sounds and Will in particular is that Will also uh, does a lot of composing for movies and video games and I think there's a, a game called Bright Paw that was just released and he did the uh, music for that uh, video game and it is just amazing. So it's like we have musicians developing tools for musicians and that is what is so um, really great because they, uh, if, if they need something in particular, well, they'll, they can just, go, they go and develop it. And not only do they develop it, but they let us share it and uh, they share it with us. And so it's really cool to, um, yeah, it's just really interesting. You know, musicians uh, that are producing these instruments have um, just exploded and, and have just given us such a amount of tools uh, for a lot of creativity. So I'm gonna move that sample start time. And then also you have, um, yeah, so this is another thing, is the resonance. Because you have pedal only, the resonance is only triggered when the pedal is pushed down, or you can have it all the time. So the resonances from the other strings are going to be always on. Let's turn that on. And then we have this clean hall. Um, let's just do, let's do a warm stage and go back and take a listen to what that sounds like with the uh, resonances all the way all the way up. Um, yeah, let's just see. Let's just see. Yeah, so when you play the key, when the key is struck, it, it's, it's resonating the other strings as well. So that's why you have that always on. So it's not just when you hit the pedal. It's always, you're always going to hear these other frequencies. So let's just uh, do some more. turn the reverb off to make sure we know what we're we're not we're hearing the resonances and not the reverb yeah because you can hear you can just hear it kind of decay and you hear these other frequencies coming in what's going to happen. Yeah, but just it's those extra resonances. It almost sounds like um, like an upright. Let's 
let's turn on some some more of that noise and key release. Just get a little more percussiveness going on. It really happens right there. Let's turn on the frost and just play around with that. Remember, this is a piano. It's a piano. When is a piano not a piano? It's just that's where this is. This takes you. those crazy reverses and it's just really cool and no reverb no reverb this is just it's just the sound of the piano I'm gonna throw those mics out into the far position and again with that ma uh, macro control um, macro is a macaroni I have I've always had trouble you know saying I'm gonna say macro but it's macro. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is the far, it's the far mic position. And, uh, let's, uh, let's take a listen. Now, honestly, when, you know, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm playing. I, you know, I, you know, so when I, when I, when I hit these keys, it, something happens, I guess it accesses something or it triggers something so this is uh, you know um you know i wish you know i, I want to do a lot more preparation but sometimes you just can't do it you just got to dive right in and what then what happens when i'm hearing these different sounds is just really amazing so this is the far perspective without any reverb and with the um, resonances on always so You would think I would be focusing on the high end, and we're going to get there, but it's like something something that is uh, really powerful and dynamic about this low end. There's almost like a, uh, like a Rhodes or. <laughs> Gee whiz, man. The movement 
the movement and, and what's going on there. Let's pull some reverb in and uh, bring it back down. I, I like the airiness of it, though, of having that um, far mic going on. And, um, and again, if you guys are just joining me, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com. And um, if it's your first time, you know, go ahead and subscribe and, and like. That really helps us a lot. And I'm just so grateful for the opportunity. I love doing this. This is... Um... And if you have any questions, um, you know, just please just jump into the chat. It's good to see all my friends here. Let's just brighten this up some. And I'm going to go... Let's... Um... Do a large plate and um, brighten it up a little bit. And I think moving it over to the close mic, it'll help kind of brighten it a little bit. And then the little glisten, yeah, you hear that, you hear that glistening. Now let's look at this. I'm going to solo the raw and the color. Yeah, so this, it contours the, uh, the frequency response, the tone. So that's going to make a little more brighter. And this will make it a little bit, a little bit darker. I've kind of, I kind of enjoying what I'm hearing, and the stereo width will just let that spread out a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so you can only go, yeah, plus 50 or minus 50, and the tone color you can go, yeah, plus and minus 50 as well. So let's just keep that stereo width kind of right there. Sound like a doorbell. Hello. Okay, here we go. Let's just kind of get in some. Oh, yeah. I love the layers.
well. It's just that all of that stuff going on. Yeah. You hear that? You hear how beautiful that is? It is to me. <laughs> it's, uh... Very, very cool. And I like it. I like having the, um, the resonances on, um, all the time. Now let's just, and, and just hearing that just continue like that. The, the, it's, um, yeah, if you have other Fracture Sounds libraries, uh, you will get, uh, you should have gotten an, e gotten an email when this was released um, that uh, you'll get an extra uh, discount if you've got the other Woodchester and Midnight Grand, just beautiful libraries. I love the idea of adding those, those extra textures and layers. Yeah, and just listen to the, just by themselves again. Yeah, just that. And let me just double check, um, because um, the thaw, let's see. So the thaw is created from guitar feedback and process through, you know, some powerful effects. The frost layer is reverse granular, granular textures created by the piano recordings. So they've taken the raw piano recordings, reversed them, <laughs> reversed them, and um, just applied all of this granular treatment to them. Um, and then the glisten is a layer made from uh, processed metallic instruments, and that's what uh, that's what gives it that really beautiful shimmer, um, that shimmer effect. Yeah. So uh, glisten is metallic instruments granular. Frost is the reversed piano textures, and thaw is um, guitar uh, pad like textures um, from uh, from guitar samples. Yeah. So that's what we're listening to here. The thaw is those pads, guitar pads. And you can, you can use them by themselves and uh, it just And then the frost are those uh, reverse piano. That's what I'm saying. The, the, yeah, the layers are strong because they did, they've done so much. Yeah, so that's the raw piano samples um, reversed and processed. Yeah, and so the mic, the mic perspective doesn't affect the, um, the layers. And I don't think the stereo width does either because they're so processed already. But the, yeah, I agree, the, um, the layers can stand on their own. Now this is some metallic synths um, processed, or even you know I don't know game uh, like gamelins and uh, chimes and actually probably not even synths but actual metallic. Uh, you can hear all that reversing going on, and just listen to how it just sustains. Yeah, no, 
that's an interesting sound. And then you go and layer it with the piano again. And let's take out that far mic. I'm, I'm, I'm gravitating toward that far, pers far perspective. Really, really amazing. Really amazing. Yeah, the close, the close mic gives you that more feeling of the, the attack. And, and even though it's muted, even though that string is muted, you still get the, the, the feeling of that attack of the hammer hitting the strings and generating all of those um, wonderful harmonic that content. Okay. It's just, it's just like, yeah, listen to that perspective when I you can just hear how that shifts those sounds. So they've given you so much uh, to, um, you know, so much to play with here. And I love how the interface is consistent with their other pianos. It's uh, very easy to get around. You just, you can click on that uh, settings and kind of get into some little deeper, um, deeper settings, reverb settings and the resonance mode and that type of thing. Yeah, so you can set the mics, but when you touch the perspective, then it then it will it will change. So watch when I when I make a manual change, this goes gray, it grays it out, but then when you grab it, it will take over and reposition those mics. So the perspective slider will override any setting uh, mic settings you have here. Well, so that is, that is Glacier Keys. And I hope you enjoyed uh, just uh, spending some time with me just going through it. Um, again, it is just the perfect complement to the other, other Fracture Sounds pianos. It's these character uh, personality uh, pianos that, um, that just sound so interesting. Just go back. You know, I like that. 
I like that glisten. Just a little bit of that. It's just like little seasonings. Just put a little dab here and drop there. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. And again, if it's your first time here, you know, please subscribe. Um, I'm so grateful, as I say a lot, for having this opportunity to, um, to be here and to share with all of you. When I see you guys on the chat, and uh, it just uh, really is a blessing to know that uh, you're enjoying the content. And as always, just let me know if you have any questions or you can leave it in the comments below once we're offline and or off live so yeah and i have all the details in the in the <laughs> i have all the details in the description below uh, so um, make sure you check that out and uh, until i see you again um, i just pray for peace i pray for blessing on you and your families and um you know, we really need, we really need that. We need that. We need that in our lives. In the midst of the storm, the hurricanes of this life, um, there's so much going on. Man, there is so much going on. So it's a blessing to be able to take some time and just kind of block that out and just share and spend some time with you. Just enjoying something beautiful. So thanks again for watching and uh, we will see you next time.